this video was never going to happen. However, given that this show is the most popular th show Paramount's ever made, and the, se the second part of season 5 is coming out tomorrow, it makes sense to talk about it. Yellowstone is an American neo-western drama television series created by Taylor Sheridan and John Linson that premiered on June 20th of 2018 on the Paramount Network. The series stars Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes, Kelly Reilly, Wes Bentley, Cole Hauser, Kelsey Ab Asbill, and Gil Brimington, Birmingham. I don't know why I almost said Brimington. The series follows the conflicts along the shared borders of the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, a large cattle ranch, the Broken Rocky Indian Reservation, Yellowstone National Park, and land developers. And as I said before, the fifth season will be the last- Well, actually, I didn't say the fifth season was going to be the last season. I said that the second part of the fifth season was coming out tomorrow. But the fifth season is the last season. It's not the end of the series, though, as there will be a sequel series called The Madison. The first part of the um, fifth season premiered last- Not last year. In 2022, on November 5th. It's been a very long time since that, but finally the show's coming back tomorrow. In 2013, Taylor Sheridan began working on the series, having grown tired- We haven't recently grown tired of acting and decided to switch to screenwriting. Having lived in rural parts of states such as Texas and Wyoming, Sheridan took the series in Montana and took the first scripts in Livingston. Sheridan initially pitched the series to HBO, but the network declined. In May of 2017, Paramount Network announced that it had greenlit the first, its first scripted series, Yellowstone. Paramount issued a series order for a first season consisting of 10 episodes. The series was set to be written, directed, and executive produced by Sheridan. Then we got the prequel, 1883. Then we got the second prequel, 1923, which, um, uh, oh, there's going to be two further spinoffs. So the prequel series, 1883, uh, focuses on the generation of the Dutton family during the Old West, and 1923 focuses on an intervening generation of the Dutton family during the time of the Western expansion, Prohibition, and the Great Depression. The next two spinoffs we have coming up for, like, going back is 6,666 in 1944. Um, ca cavemen? Um... A any anyway so let's get into the development of the series because the premise is literally just what i said before that it follows the dutton family who are the owners of the large ranch in montana the yellow dutton ranch let's get into the development though so in 2013 taylor sheridan began to work on the series like i said before having grown tired of acting and begun to write screenplays and um he first pitched the show as a movie and um well, no, he originally wrote Yellowstone as a film, pitching it as The Godfather in Montana, and he did pitch it to HBO, but they declined, because I guess they didn't want other Sopranos, even though they made The Penguin and that. Anyways, uh, let's, okay, let's not mention Harvey Weinstein in this video, hey -o. its premiere, the show was met with a mixed response from critics. Metacritic, which uses a weighted average, assigned the first season a score of 54 out of 100 based on 27 critics, indicating mixed or average reviews. On the review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes, the first season holds only a 56 approval rating, with an average rating of 5.8 out of 10 based on 52 reviews. The website's critical consensus of the first season reads, Yellowstone proves too melodramatic to be taken seriously, diminishing the effects of the talented cast and beautiful backdrops. The second season, though, managed to up the ante, as it holds an approval rating of 89% based on 9 reviews. The third season beat them all by getting 100% based on reviews from 7 critics. The fourth season keeps set up a bit by holding a 91% approval rating based on reviews from 11 critics. The critical consensus, consensus, consensus that was a hard word to say, for that season, <laughs> reads, hitting its stride as a predictably unpredictable oat opera, Yellowstone continues to entertain with its tough as raw high characters and modernized perspective on classic cowboy tropes. The first half of the fifth season earned an 84% approval rating, so, um, I don't, I don't know, uh, if they're gonna review the other part, but now we can finally get into the part that I wanted to talk about, which is the spin-offs. 1883 is by far the best show out of all the spin-offs. It's got two famous singers, two famous country singers in this show. How did you guys do that? I have no idea. 
I suppose I should clarify some things about 1883. 1883 follows the post-Civil War generation of the Dutton family as they leave Tennessee, journey forth to Fort Worth, Texas, and join a wagon train undertaking the arduous journey to, you know, to Oregon. The Duttons are never on the actual Oregon Trail itself before settling in Montana to establish what eventually become the Yellowstone Ranch. Now, spoilers for why they end up in Montana, it's because unfortunately one of the daughters, Elizabeth, gets shot with a poison arrow or, or something like that, and um, she picks a spot where she dies, which ends up being the place where the ranch would be, so they stay there. That's how it works with the family. Before I get into other stuff about 1883, I should mention who the two famous country singers are in this show, and that's Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Tim, Faith Hill is, is good, but Tim McGraw... Listen, guy, maybe you should keep that beard. After all, that's what Cole Hauser did in Yellowstone. And I'm just saying... Here's the thing about um, 1883. It's actually crossed over with the other Yellowstone shows. You see, to introduce the new series, 1883, to Yellowstone viewers, Tim and Faith appeared as James and Margaret Dutton in flashback scenes during the fourth season of Yellowstone to show what life was like on the Dutton Ranch in 1893, ten years after the Dutton family arrival in Montana. In the first episode, Half the Money, James Dutton and his preteen sons John and Spencer, portrayed res re respectively by actors Jack Michael Doak and Charlie Stone, over, encountered a starving Native Americans who had left the local reservation to bury their father on their former land that had since become part of the Dutton Ranch. In the eighth episode, No Kindness for the Coward, Margaret Dutton and her sons John and Spencer are sitting at the dinner table in their ranch homestead, waiting for her husband and their father to return from a dangerous manhunt of horse thieves who played their territory. And um, those episodes aired prior to the release of 1883, but a month before the premise of 1923 in December of 2022, Paramount released a trailer in which Elsa, voiced by Elizabeth May, served as the narrator. May also narrated the first episode and informed the audience about the intervening 30 years in the saga of the Duttons between 1893, the time of the flashback scenes on Yellowstone, and the start of the series 1923. Um, and that's, that's it. <laughs> Like I said before, 1923 is another prequel show for Yellowstone. It's the sequel to 1883, and it has Isabel May reprising her role as Elsa Dutton, but this time as a narrator. In February of last year, the series was renewed for a second and final season of eight episodes. So I don't know if they did that yet, but um, like I said before, the series stars a generation of Duttons, the Dutton family in the 20s, during the time of Prohibition, uh, the early stages of the Great Depression, which affected Montana long before the Wall Street crash of 1929. Now, before we get into the other spinoff series that are planned, it's important to talk about the sequel series that we'll be getting after Yellowstone ends, The Madison. In May of last year, following the planned departure of Kevin Costner from Yellowstone during their fifth season, a sequel series titled 2024 was announced as being in development with Matthew McConaughey and talks to star in the leading role. In August of this year, it was announced that the series was tentatively retitled The Madison with Michelle Pfeiffer set the star, as wealthy matriarch Stacey Clyburn, who moves her family from New York City to Montana in the wake of her husband and brother-in-law's tragic deaths in a plane crash. Kurt Russell, Patrick J. Adams, and Bo, Bo Garrett were also reportedly in talks to star in main roles. Adams and Garrett officially joined the cast alongside Ellie Chapman in August of 2024, this year. Production was reportedly set to commence in August of this year, with filming taking place in Montana, New York, and Texas. The series is expected to premiere sometime in next year, following the conclusion of Yellowstone this year, because again, it's ending tomorrow. I mean, the fifth season's coming, the final part of the fifth season's coming out, you know what I'm talking about. So, what are these other two spin-off series? Is? Six, 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 four sixes. Okay, so the spin-off series titled, uh, I'm just calling it 6,666 or whatever. It was announced in February 2021 and would be set in the present day of the four six ranches in Texas. And it's, a, and it's planned to premiere on Paramount Network. The 6,666 ranches also featured during the fourth and fifth season of Yellowstone. So... It's an actual ranch in King County, Texas. Anyways, another prequel series titled 1944 and set during that year is reportedly in development as of February last year, and it would serve as a sequel to 1923 and be filmed in Bitterroot Valley. And that's all I have to say about Yellowstone. I've seen clips of it a lot, so I would say that, yeah, Yellowstone is kind of, yeah, but the spin-off shows, like the prequel shows, are really, really good. I actually do like them prequel shows a lot some episodes of yellowstone i do like um i like teeter 
She's my favorite character. She don't take shit from nobody. But anyways, I wanted to make this video really quick because last time an anniversary, last time a premiere was happening for a show, I I missed it. Um, like my Frasier video, I wanted to release that video before, like on the anniversary of the show, but I didn't get to. I ended up releasing it on the day that the reboot um season two episode and the show was coming out like season two of the reboot show so i didn't get to do that in time so i at least wanted to do this in time uh for yellowstone final season um comment down below if you have watched yellowstone i have only seen clips i cannot review the show i'm so sorry but let me know if you like it or not you know and after that like comment subscribe and um Sorry, I heard a beep noise. It distracted me. Um, I should probably go check on that later. Oh, no, it stopped. No, we're good. All right, never mind. Um, next video is the Astro Boy video, like I said it would be. And then we'll go from there.